Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union here in the Union's Head Office in Kingston, London. 4th of February is World Cancer Day and we're joined by National Officer Ricardo Latore to speak about the Union's decon campaign which of course deals with this issue. Now Fire, uh, Ricardo, we launched decon in September last year. What's been happening since then? Can you give members watching an update? Of course. Um, we so pleased with how this project has taken off since we launched it on no, 6th of September live from a fire station and uh, more importantly um, the messages we've been getting from members um, loud and clear how important this issue is how high up the agenda for firefighters understanding this link and doing something about it is you know, we've seen the engagement in every corner of the FRS we've seen the posters going up we've seen the tweets we've seen people with their babies wearing decon stickers um, the training is being taken you know, the pledge is being signed and we're getting requests for more information um, more posters all of the time we're also seeing um, the registry that we've yeah. launched um, starting to be filled out by firefighters and we say we're seeing that data build up so we can understand even more going forwards about this link between cancer and firefighting which we know affects everyone in the fire rescue service in one way or another. Now you mentioned the firefighters cancer registry it's a huge part of getting the, the really vital data but one of the questions we keep getting asked is the registry for our firefighters who've already been diagnosed with cancer or should all serving members fill it out? Look, I can't be clear on this Tam we need every single firefighter to fill out that registry whether you've been diagnosed with a cancer whether you've been diagnosed with a disease or if you've never been diagnosed with anything we need you to fill out that registry now we've said throughout this project the launch in september was only the start there is so much more we need to understand about the link between cancer disease and the occupation of firefighting now we mentioned in the launch we heard from um, colleagues and comrades from abroad how other parts of the world are ahead of us on this issue, you know, they understand more, and the reason they understand more than us is because they have the data, and they get that data from registries such as the one the Fire Brigade Union has now launched together with the University of Central Lancashire. We cannot protect ourselves from this danger if we don't properly understand it, and we can't properly evidence it, and we simply cannot do that unless firefighters fill out that registry. So I'll repeat it because it's so important. Whether you've been diagnosed with a cancer or whether you're completely healthy. If you've been to specific incidents, we've got statisticians and scientists and toxicologists monitoring this data and they're finding it um, particularly interesting from incidents such as Grenfell. They're finding that data really, really helpful. Um, every single firefighter needs to fill this out and they need to fill it out quickly so we can start this life-saving work that we need to be getting into place. Oh, no, absolutely, but it's not just the registry, is it? I mean, DECON has got a number of initiatives that members can get involved in. Can you speak about that? What else can members do to involve themselves in the campaign? Absolutely, and, and in the short term, um, the most important thing members and firefighters can do is take the training. They can find the training on the Fire Brigade Union website. They should talk to their FBU Health and Safety Rep to find out if it's being delivered by their, actually by their fire and rescue service yet, yeah, which many fire and rescue services are doing, I'm, I'm pleased to say, through their yeah. official training. Um, if the posters aren't up, get the posters up around your workplace, not just on the health and safety board. Get them in the relevant parts of the station where we need to be reminded most about what it is we must be doing to keep ourselves and each other safe. As we've already mentioned, fill out the registry as a priority. This project is continuing, we need that data. Fill out the registry as a priority. And uh, when I say the project is continuing, we've said throughout, we said it from the launch, this is just the start. Yeah. There's more we need to understand and there's more we need to do. We're expecting more research to be published very soon as a result of this project by University of Central Lancashire, right. you know, commissioned by the Five Brigades Union. Um, and it's going to change the way we look at firefighting, it's going to change the way we look at the risk presented to us as firefighters by these toxic fire effluent. So yeah. keep an eye on the Fire Brigade Union social media, keep an eye on the Fire Brigade Union website because there's, you know, there's more coming very soon and we will be informing members of exactly what that is as and when it happens. Ricardo, thanks very much. Well, for more information on this life-saving campaign, and indeed all the campaigns that the FBU is running, you can go to our website, and that's 
fbu.org.uk. Of course, for more immediate updates, you can follow us on Twitter. And that's simply at FBU National. Till next time, thanks for joining us, and Ricardo. Thanks very much. <laughs>